Welcome back. On this episode, we're going to get a front end on the truck. Okay, so this is the original bumper. It's a uh, 92 work truck bumper, also known as a smoothie. Um, they don't have all the trim uh, on the fronts of them. And generally, I like the way that these look with the 98 style front ends, um, especially when they're all color matched. It looks really slick. We have this little guy here. This is the original bumper fascia. And we are going to probably keep this and modify it. Uh, not to use, but we're going to use it as a mold. So um, I'll go over a little bit some of the decisions that we made with the turbo system. But basically the way that I need to run the exhaust to make everything kind of work with the drive sump system and all that stuff, I need to have the turbos, uh, turbines pointing outward, compressors pointing inward. And because of that, we need to run a uh, intake below the intercooler. Uh, generally speaking, I wouldn't do that on a street vehicle just because of dirt and stuff like that that you can pick up. But I have a plan for that, so we're going to be okay. Um, that being said, I need a way of getting good air into here, so we might modify this. I don't know. We're going to see what we want to do. But I'm planning on making this in a splitter out of carbon fiber by myself, making the molds, try to learn how to do all that work, and uh, that'll be future episodes. Uh, but for now, I wanted to show you what's going on. There are two main mounts here. And here, that sandwich and hold the top and bottom of the bumper, those will be mounted directly to the chassis. Uh, and they should be pretty easy to modify to fit our frame. And then there is a mount out here that there's a little arm that holds the corner of the bumper up. And that guy I'm going to need to make sort of like a little wing and sort of slots and stuff so we can move it around. Uh, so I need to go over to the other bay, get the brackets off the chassis, mount them up on here, and then we'll try to stick it up on the truck. Okay, guys, so I think I hit the jackpot on this. So this, um, what I did is these are the center mounts, these here. And they're actually flipped on the truck. This one was over there, and this one was over here. So uh, this was uh, inside the frame, and this was the outside of the frame. In this scenario, what I found is if I take the mounts and flip them around, and I put the passenger side on the driver's side, this bolt hole surface here, and this surface here, are almost exactly the width of my chassis, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure that this drop is going to be just about perfect to where we need to go. So I'm gonna check that next, but I think I might be in for a really easy setup here. So I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these right here. So I'm gonna set them up in the bandsaw and uh, level them out so this top plane here is level with the, uh, the bottom of the bandsaw so we get a nice cut. And then uh, I'll do that on both sides and then we will get the pipe out. Okay, so I got these cut out, bent and beveled. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to basically line these up, weld them in, top and the side here, and uh, get it all burned up. So pretty happy with the way they turned out and uh, we'll see how they fit. Okay, so I got both of these welded on and I sort of just have it clamped up to my reference lines here. Uh, so I'm gonna go over, grab the bumper set it on here and then uh, set the grill in and see how close our holes are. So um, once I get this sort of laid out, 
then we can uh, fine tune it before we drill the holes. Uh, once we have it fine tuned, we'll drill the holes in the center of the slots and then we should have plenty of wiggle room for any sort of adjustment we need to make after that. Not bad. So the measurements we took were actually pretty good. Um, I do notice that in order to get the bumper to look right, the flat parts of the bracket here need to be tilted back slightly. Um, so that is what it is, but I'm more concerned about the exterior and what it looks like. So right now, the, uh, I measured like the gap from the trim piece uh, all the way around and sort of got flushed out. And there's a little bit of a gap here, but that's not actually the bumper fitment. That is the fact that this grill needs to pull forward. So if I grab it forward and push it like that, we get a nice tight gap right where it needs to be. So we'll add some reinforcement tubing uh, and brackets to the inside of that grill piece to sort of get that all squared up when we're done. Um, but overall, pretty happy. So there should be plenty of adjustment. I got about uh, three eighths of an inch up and then three eighths of an inch down. Um, forward and back, there's probably quarter inch uh, total adjustment. So not as much that way, but realistically, um, there's not a whole lot of need to, to adjust it forward and back. We should be able to get it with tilt and uh, that little bit of slack there to get where we need to get it. But uh, pretty happy with where it's at so far. So we'll tear everything back apart, uh, mark the holes, drill the holes, and then yeah, I think it'll be mounted. Okay, so we are all fitted up for now as best as I can do. You can see the brackets here, got those in. Um, I only have three bolts on the main brackets, two on this side and one on this side. So I'm not gonna do the fine tuning per se, um, but so far we're pretty good. So in the front, we're even all the way across. Um, I do have this side kicked up about an eighth of an inch and that side kicked down at about an eighth of an inch uh, if you compare it to the fender line. So that doesn't mean much right now because we don't have the hood on, we don't have the fenders vertically placed where they need to be. That whole structure will have to get fine tuned uh, next. So what we'll do is um, even before we start doing like the uh, rad mount, we're gonna do a crossbar that mounts to the frame rails down here. And then we're going to connect to the fenders and we'll, we'll sort of uh, put some slotted adjustments in there and then we'll be able to raise and lower each fender uh, slightly so it's you probably can't tell too much on camera but I could probably lift this up an eighth of an inch or so uh, and that side you know you might push down an eighth of an inch so there's a little bit of flex here so we'll make some slotted brackets and we'll probably start that next but overall I'm pretty happy with this so uh, bumper is on pretty solid I'll go get hardware tomorrow uh, and bolt it up the rest of the way but not too shabby
Okay, so not bad. I got these cut out, mitered, and coked. So these will mount onto those little plates. I'm gonna pull the plates out now, and then I'm gonna just tack these kind of on and sort of do everything outside of the truck, get it sort of centered up, and then uh, we'll put it back in. Okay, so I went ahead and just uh, tacked this up off camera. So there's just a couple like little quarter inch long stitches holding this on. And you can see the general shape of what we got going on here. So <clears throat> this works out pretty well. So what we're gonna do next is we need to get the uh, grill tape back on, get it kind of in the right position. And then we're gonna determine where we want our uprights to come up and out. And we will get those sort of situated. <clears throat> see what we want to do there and uh, then we'll cut some tubing bend it up and get them tacked in okay so it's the next day I went ahead and uh, burned out some tabs and just sort of welded them on there uh, this tab over here ties into the fender and it's slotted uh, up and down and then this tab here is slotted horizontally so I can get adjustment in and out and up and down on the fender um, I welded the rest of the tubes together uh, sort of got everything uh, a little bit more solid and I just need to remake this tab because well I was dumb when I made it and I bent it the wrong direction so these two tabs are supposed to be mirror images of each other and they're instead exact images of each other so need to remake this one but uh overall pretty good so what I'm gonna do next get the uh grill mounted up in here and do some measuring okay so I measured it up so the grill the outside to the headlights is 38. The inside to the edge of the grill is 33 and a quarter. Uh, the center line between those two is 35 and 5 eighths. So the center line of the tube on this like arch section that we're going to build is going to be 35 and 5 eighths. Um, then on top of that, the uh, top of this tube, I drew this wrong, top, top, top of this tube to the top of this tube is 15 inches. So that's all well and good. We're going to leave that long, so I'm not too worried about those bends, but I do need to lay out this bend. Uh, I'm going to measure everything from the outside. So 35 and 5 eighths plus 1 and a quarter is 36 and 7 eighths. So uh, this is going to be our mark. I'm going to lay this out on the table, uh, lay the tube up, and basically get everything sort of etched out on the tube. I have no idea what I was doing when I made this math, but I made this tube way too long. I meant to leave an extra like six inches and I ended up leaving like an extra like 20 inches. So I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever, it's here, it's working. So yeah, take it out and then cut it down to size. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on here. Obviously uh, down at the bottom, this that's good. So the whole tube is going to move about two inches lower than what it was sitting up there. Um, so that'll tuck it right underneath this line here. So that'll go good. So I just need to pull the angles back off of those. I think they're about 14 and a half degrees and then get my miter cuts sort of figured out where they're going to be on this so that when I set it on there, I have a nice miter and I'm going to shoot for dead vertical on these bars. Um, that way uh, my hood latch and stuff Will actually come down in front of the bar and I'll have room to fit a plate in. So if I go dead vertical, uh, it'll come in right about here, the tube will be, and then I can have the uh, latch come down in here. So that'll work out well. And then uh, in front of that, or I should say behind that, this way, uh, will be the intercooler and we'll get the intercooler set in there. The good thing about the intercooler is even though uh, that bar will be over top of it, uh, it should have plenty of clearance to, to clear the intake tube and everything else. So uh, yeah, uh, get ready to mark this up and we'll get to mitering. Okay, so I went ahead and got this mitered up. I got a nice tight fit down here. 
So uh, I'm just gonna rip this piece out, tack it up, dead level vertical, and uh, yeah, we'll get everything back on with the grill. Okay, so we got that burnt in. I'm gonna stick it in the truck and we're going to uh, see how the grill fits up to it. Okay, so when I check the uh, grill out here, there's a little section on this lip that I need to cut out. So I'm gonna try to see if I can cut it with a hole saw. Um, it might get a little ugly, so we'll see. But uh, that's where I need clearance. So on, it's even on both sides, which is good. That means that everything was pretty well centered. So let's see if I can do that now. So I don't know what kind of plastic that is, but it cuts like butter. So it actually did not leave a rough edge. I was worried about when I cut it that I was gonna give like all sorts of boogers on the edge, but it, it's like perfectly smooth. I just need to knock off uh, some of the, the fibers here and maybe square up the edge because you can see the way I sunk it in, it's still got a little bit of half, a little bit more than a half moon shape. So I need to just straighten this edge out here. But uh, yeah, that's like perfect. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so generally speaking, the fitment looks great. I'm really happy with how everything is notched in. Both sides look nice. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start making the tabs to connect this grill, which is currently taped on, onto here. So we're gonna do this in uh, a couple of spots. We're going to make a vertically uh, slotted tab that comes up here and connects to this. Um, when we make that, you might think, okay, well, you can just come off tangent here and then bolt right to that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put a little bit of an inward step this direction, probably about, I don't know, half an inch inward and then up. And the reason I'm gonna do that is remember, this uh, whole front end isn't set perfectly. Uh, what we need to do in order to set it correctly is we need to change the door bushings out, put a new door pin kit in, put the doors in, set the panel gaps, et cetera, set the fender heights, the hood height, all that other crap. So we're not doing that right now because, well, frankly, it's not necessary and I want it to be adjustable anyway so that I can really get it fine tuned. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave some space in here and then we will use like 3D printed um, spacers uh, in between here to sort of set up how much gap that we put at the top. Um, so this will just be held up here um, and it'll be slotted vertical up and down so that we can sort of get a little flex and get it kind of angled the way we want it. Uh, and then as far as at the bottom here, what I'm thinking about is probably running another vertical tab somewhere in this area and connecting into this section. Um, I could possibly tie into this guy. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll probably tie into this guy because it's existing and it's here. Uh, no point to recreate everything. So probably make this guy and we'll do the same sort of method where we leave the same amount of gap as what we have on this guy. We'll have on this guy and that way we can use spacers to adjust in and out. Um, right now this would be the, theoretically be the inward most adjustment, but we just don't know until things sort of get situated. So I'm gonna go ahead, go inside, get this stuff drafted up in CAD. Obviously, I could probably just cut this out of some flat stock, but I wanna make the slots, and frankly, I don't have a milling machine, so it's easier just to plasma cut it. So we'll go do that and uh, see what we can get going.
So there you go. We got a bumper and core support built for the truck. You can see here the tabs up top are all finished up as well as down here on the bottom. We got it braced in nicely all the way across and we got our fenders tied in. So next up, uh, on the next episode, we are going to work on building like a headlight uh, retention assembly up in here and then start working on what we need to do to get our intercooler sort of situated and braced up in here. But overall, I'm super happy with how this turned out. And um, it's pretty lightweight. You know, the bumper brackets are definitely the heaviest part, um, especially since we use some of the factory stuff, but I'm okay with the bumper being kind of solid on this. Uh, I don't really want to just tap something and have an issue. But overall, super happy with this. and. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, have a good one.